This is me when I first got out of jail. Rob Fix Production, stock footage, letters design. That's my house on Lochner Road. I was locked up for 163 days for a crime I didn't commit. Just because I was making a movie about the prison industry. 163 days. Uh, it's a long time to make a commitment to a cause about Africa. It's the truth about me. In jail from December 24th until June 2nd. 163 days, I do believe. Well past the allotted 120 days that I was supposed to. Speedy trial. Uh, got out of jail. Talked about my son. Uh, I'm unemployed. I have no business now. <clears throat> Alright. I was in jail. And my lawyer wouldn't defend me. My lawyer, judge wouldn't listen to nothing I had to say. I went straight from the road to church to jail. I didn't think I was going to get arrested. For what? Videotaping? And me and you videotaped last like year? And I videotaped in June? I videotaped in September? And I come home on the 13th. And I see my sons. I come back to my store. I look at my store. All my shit is gone. I don't have my kites up. The lights is missing. The deer head is missing. Uh, Jake got his name on the store. So I'm like, what the fuck going on? And he's like, uh, well, the store of mine now. Wooty woot this, wooty woot that. I'm like, how the store yours? It was my store. You know what I'm saying? He just took over. Well, you had bills and this, this, and this. I had money in the bank. I had this, 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 and this. So the our store should have basically been mine. My landlord sat here and sold my lease to my son without evicting me or, or, or terminating my lease. At every Jim, he didn't terminate my lease. They've been paying my they've been paying their lease off my bank account. Somebody been signing checks. <laughs> Gerald was signing <laughs> I mean, checks. Jail. Ain't nobody signing. Mean, Priest was signing ain't checks. checks Darlene was signing, signing checks. Uh, a lot of people were signing was checks. My name. Uh, I mean, the, you, the store could have survived. That was I was closing the store. I was selling the and store. You shut the store down and it never opened again. That's my choice. That's my decision. It's my business. Correct? What's the name of the store? What's the name of the business? It was the Shorty's Country Rich Store. I'm just saying. Who, who was who's Shorty? Yeah. I got sole proprietorship. I don't have. It's not a family business. My account is Paul Weinblatt. He'll tell you, can't nobody sign checks but me. Paul can't even sign checks. He can't. If you check my bank account, I got check fraud protection. That means I'm the only one that can sign my fucking checks. Now, if I want to be a dick, an asshole, and a motherfucker, I can send my son to jail. But that ain't really doing nothing either. Now, one of my other kids want me to send him to jail. But, like I said, I'm the head of my family. I'm going to deal with that situation in another way. It depends on how I want to deal with it. I'm 50 years old. I'm not going to fight you. I ain't going to shoot you. I ain't going to stab you. None of that dumb ass shit. I'm going to teach you a lesson. If you didn't want to get involved in my business with the shorty thing in Illinois, then you shouldn't have took over my business in Baltimore. You should have left it alone. When I left here in January, I was the only one at that store. Nobody else was in the store. Jim can't evict me when I'm in jail. If he did, then Jake could have took over the store. Then I could have did it legally. But they did it at my expense. And somebody wanted to pay me. I'm broke now. I ain't gonna be broke long. Were you, uh, could you, you were writing letters out of the jail. Could you write letters to Jake? You Jake got letters. I even got some of the letters I wrote Jake. I told Jake to take the letters that I got from Senator Barack Obama, blow it up to a poster size, and tell the customers I was in jail and I needed bail money. All right? These is my customers. No. This right here, because I'm sending these out too. This right here is my customers. See that? When you were gone? Yeah. They wrote that when you were No, gone. they wrote this before I left. Uh. These are all my customers, alright? You gonna tell me that if I wrote these people that they wouldn't have did something for me? If they wouldn't have known that I was in jail? When I lost my store in Wendy Valley, they stopped going to the store because I lost the store. You understand? And when my son was murdered, they did this for me. Alright? I didn't ask them to do it. They did it. So they would have did something for me if they knew the situation I was in. So they didn't want to get involved in my situation in Illinois 
or this so-called crazy activity I was in, I was making videos for a whole year. Everybody seen me making videos at the store, talking about the blue light special. I had white people, black people, Spanish people, rich people, poor people. People, we was having a ball. I was doing it all the time. He on the videos. He seen what I was doing. I, everything. So to say that you want to be involved in it, but you want to take my money and make your business a business and leave me out in the cold, ain't right. You know? I, so you're not associated with that story anymore? No, other than he, the fact that he my son. That's the stock, stock footage, like I said. I got all the videos I need. I got everything I need. The movie's called Letters Design, and it deals with everything in my life since 2006. I got more videotapes than the government and my son want to see. Y'all gonna give me my freedom and give me my life back. Because like I said, I'm gonna take what belongs to me.